Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL T6 which is just finding the volume of pyramids and cones. So as uh, with all the other videos I tell my students that you can find the volume formulas very easily on the internet. I just google search volume equations and all these images popped up. Here's a nice little image with all of the volume equations tied to each picture. And so today it looks like we're going to be doing pyramids and cones. So if we go over here, that's going to be this formula right here and this formula right here. Okay, so we'll probably be referencing this throughout the IXL. So this uh, first problem is asking to find the volume of this cone. Okay, and so I'm going to go back here and see the volume of a cone is going to be uh, pi r squared times h, r being the radius of the circle down there, height uh, being the height of the entire shape, and then divided by 3. So pi, pi r squared, and then h over 3. I'll go over here and do v equals pi r squared h over 3. And again, something I want you to think about, the um, base is a circle, and for area of a circle, which is two dimensions, it's pi r squared. Since this is volume, it's three dimensions. We're adding the third dimension of height. So it's pi r squared times the height, and then we got to divide it by three. Okay, so now we're just going to plug everything in. So it says use 3.14 for pi, so we'll do 3.14 times r. So the radius of the circle down below is four, so four and then squared times the height, the height is nine, and then of course all divided by three. Okay, I'm going to simplify this um, writing 3.14 times 4 squared is 16, so times 16, and then times 9, and then divided by 3. I'm going to divide the 3 out by the 9, so we're just going to be left with 3, so I'm going to multiply by 3. And then from here, I will simplify that further and do 3.14 times 16 times 3 is 48. Okay, so I'm going to get a calculator. We will go over here, and we will type in 48 times 3.14 and that's going to be 150.72 so 150.72 and again to the nearest hundredth, hundredth so make sure you have the uh, two places after the decimal there and there we go okay um, so we can do this cone right here we'll go back okay finding the volume of this cone so remember the volume is going to be pi r squared, pi r squared, times our third dimension of h, all over three. Okay, so we have 3.14 times the radius. Remember the radius is just the point in the middle to the end. So if the diameter of our circle is 12, that means the radius is gonna be six. So times six squared times our height, which is 10, and then all over three. Okay, this is going to be equal to 3.14 times 6 squared, or 6 times 6 is 36. And then 36 times 10 is 360, and then divided by 3. Okay, I'm going to simplify this down and do 3.14 times 360 divided by 3 is going to be 120. Okay, so we just need pi times 120, go to our calculator. Do 120 times 3.14, and that's 376.8. So 376.8. Okay, so now we have a pyramid here, and specifically it is a triangular pyramid. So if we go to our formula here, it says length times width times height over 3. That's a little misleading. That is going to be for a rectangular pyramid right there. Okay, when we go back to our problem here, the base is going to be a triangle. So over here, the base is going to be a rectangle. And so really uh, a different way to write the formula that's gonna be more accurate is going to be volume equals big base times height over three. And the reason why we write big base for capital B is that just means it's going to be the area of whatever the base is. 
So if it's a triangle, we're going to do the area of a triangle there. If it's a rectangle, we're just going to do, you know, uh, base times the length or the length times the width. Okay, because this is a triangular base, we're going to do one half the base times the height and then times the height of the entire shape over our three. Okay, so we have one half. What is uh, the base there? The base is going to be uh, 20 times 16. Then the height of the entire shape is 18. And then all over our three. Okay, I'm going to simplify some stuff down here. We'll do one half times 20 is 10. So 10 times 16. And then times 18 over 3 is just 6. So I'm going to simplify that down to 6. So it's 10 times 160 or 10 times 16 times 6. I'm going to simplify that down further and go 10 times 16 is 160. So 160 times 6. Okay, and then I'm going to solve that real quick. 160 times 6 is going to be 960. Okay, so it's going to be 960. And there we go. Okay, so we have another triangular base there. Uh, again, you're going to do 1 half 6 times 12 times 8, and then divide that entire thing by 3. Jump. Okay, now you're getting to double digit numbers. Okay, now you're getting with uh, to numbers with decimals in them. Get up to the 90s. And now again, it gives you shapes um, or gives you word problems with no shape. That's fine. Okay, I'll do this one real quick. So it says we have a triangular pyramid. So remember a pyramid with a triangle base, not a rectangle base. And it says it's shaped like a right triangle. The legs of the right uh, triangle are three, six inches long. So we have our big base times the height over three as our volume. That area is going to be one half, it looks like, times three times six. Okay, times the height of the pyramid is going to be another three. And then divided by our arbitrary three. Okay, this one is very easy. The threes cancel out, which is nice. And then we'll do 1 half times 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and half of 18 is going to be 9. So the volume is going to be 9. And there we have it. So that is where I'm going to end the video. Just use your formulas. Watch out for the bases of those pyramids, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial video later on. Goodbye.